Gamer. Hello everyone and welcome back to another MLB The Show 18 video brought to you by Sports Gamers Online. I'm Casual Gamer. A link to my channel will be below in the description. Today we are talking about how to make stubs as fast and as easy as possible in MLB The Show 18. This is something that can be done by anyone and is a guaranteed way to make stubs easily. First, let's talk about what flipping cards is. As you guys can see here, there are differentials between the buy now and the sell now price. The buy now price means that someone has this card listed and you can buy it from them for that price. The sell now price represents someone wanting to buy the card for that many stubs instead of buying the card outright for the buy now price. And there is a 10% tax in the store, so you have to deduct that from anything before you decide if the card is worth flipping. As you can see here, this card after tax would sell for about 42, 41,000 and it sells for 38,000. So that's about a 3,000 stub differential there. It's decent, but you're investing so many stubs that that's not really worth it. So now we're going to talk about my favorite cards to flip in the game. That would be the gold equipment items. These cards are easy to flip because they don't cost that many stubs, so anyone can afford to do this, and their price doesn't change that frequently. So if I was doing this right now, the first ones that I would be looking at are this forearm slider and this Nike Hyperforce right here. Because if you subtract three from that, that's about 700 stubs. So you're making 700 stubs on just investing about 2,700. So that's I think that's a very good investment. As well as on this one, you would be making about 900 stubs on a 3,600 stub investment. So I think those are definitely good investment options. This one is decent too. And you can even invest in the ones that are much cheaper, like this Ritual Rhythm. But the, the Ritual ones, I, I don't know how sought after they are, so I, I hesitate to suggest these. But definitely the, the equipment items are ones that I have done and made guaranteed stubs every single time. So if you're looking at something with a big differential in price, to make sure that you're not making a silly investment, click on this panel. And as you can see, there are not that many up for the buy now, which is not a great sign. When you go to something like this Leg Guard, yeah, there are a lot of these up, so this might be a more solid investment because it's already kind of dropped to where it will finish with this. Like, what happens is that these get bought in waves a lot of times, so if you see like only a few options, that probably means that it just went through a wave of people buying them, and you could put yours up and hope that it gets bought in one of those waves. The risk is that you may not get as many stubs as you want because the price just keeps falling because everyone's buying and buying and buying and then everyone's selling and selling and selling, so the, pr the price just plummets. Now, if you look at the differential on these socks right here, that is an incredible differential. So once you've worked up some stubs, buy one of these, maybe a couple, and then sell them back, and you can make around 2,000 stubs every time. That is 2,000 stubs every single time you do this, that, and that is just incredible with how stingy the game is with stubs from missions and stuff. This is an easy way to make stubs. Another good filter to use for flipping cards is to come over here and limit your players to just gold players. As you can see, these cards are much more affordable than those diamond cards on the first page and much easier to flip with less risk of losing stubs. I do want to warn you guys that if you buy these cards and hold on to them and don't sell them right away, there is a chance that you will lose stubs and that is just about the only way that you will lose stubs. So you have to really be staying in the market and being very active, keeping track of what's being bought, keeping track of what's being sold and just keep making those stubs. This Miggy card is a great example of a card you would want to flip. People are asking 7900 for him and people will only want to buy him for 6300 As you can see, there are not that many buy orders up, so it may be a little bit of a risk to do this as they may suddenly flood the market, but I think this is still a worthwhile investment as you should be able to make at least 500 stubs and maybe 800 stubs. This is another good example of a card that you would want to flip. You could buy him for around 3,900, maybe 4,000 stubs, and then sell him for around 5,400 or 5,500 stubs, which is a nice almost 1,000 stub profit. The market fluctuates a lot, so the cards I'm showing you guys may not have the same differential later. That means that you guys just need to go through here yourselves and find the best deals based on what I've shown you in this video. Now, I realize that I only have 30,000 stubs, but that is because I use some of the stubs that I earned in the market to buy key players for my team that I think will have great years this year like Cody Bellinger and others. To prove to you guys that this really does work, I just want to show you guys my completed sell orders and buy orders. As you guys can see here, I bought this one for 3100 and it sold a minute later for 4900 basically. And then I did the same thing here, I bought this one for 3150 and sold it for 4700 That one took 
about eight minutes. So in under nine minutes, I was able to make about 3,000 stubs. I bought another one of these cleats here for 3,500 and sold for 4,400. Here I only made about 500 stubs, but that's still 500 stubs that I didn't have before. Next, you can see Brian Dozier here that I bought for 6,300 and flipped for about 8,000 stubs, which makes this about a 900 stub profit. And the list goes on and on. As you guys can see that I bought this for 3,000 stubs and with under a minute, it sold for 4,300 stubs. Here I bought Jason Hayward for 4,500 stubs and sold him for 5,600, making it about a 600 stub profit. So this has been how to make stubs as fast as possible so that you can afford cards like these, like Mike Trout, like Joe Morgan, Clayton Kershaw, all these amazing cards that are available and seem unattainable can be yours if you use these tips and are effective in the marketplace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that bell so that you never miss an upload. Peace.